Welcome to Isa's Pavilion at Le Bourget Air and Space Show. At its traditional location, below the big and nice Ariane 5 model. Ariane 5 will launch AlphaSat, the satellite that you have in front of you, in July. And this brings us to the theme of the pavilion this year, space for competitiveness and growth. <laughs> The pavilion is structured in three areas, knowledge, services and innovation and competitiveness. The Space for Knowledge area starts with ESA's world-class astronomy missions and with the map of the cosmic microwave background unveiled in March by Planck. This map provides the most accurate picture ever of the oldest universe when it was just 380,000 years old. The next mission, Gaia, a satellite that will map 1 billion stars in 3D with a precision never reached, is also shown. It will be launched from the CSG before the end of the year. Visitors can discover ExoMars, a mission in cooperation with Russia that will seek traces of life and will land a rover on Mars in 2018. Scientific missions that study planet Earth appear next, with satellites Goche, SMOS and Cryosat, as well as the next mission ready for launch, SWARM, that will study the Earth's magnetic field. The European participation in the International Space Station is also highlighted with the European Science Laboratory Columbus and the ATV. The fourth ATV, Albert Einstein, docked successfully with the ISS on 15 June. The ATV is the precursor of an important cooperation between ESA and NASA by which ESA will provide the service module of Orion, the manned vehicle of NASA that will carry astronauts farther into space than ever before. The second area devoted to the space-based services starts with GMES, an ambitious program of the European Union in which ESA is providing the space segment. The program aims at delivering services to the European citizens based on operational Earth observation satellites and in situ sensors. Meteorology is another domain where space has become vital. It is an European success story of cooperation between ESA and UMETSAT. Galileo, another cooperation between ESA and the European Union, will provide Europe with an independent, top quality global satellite navigation system. The constellation is being built at full speed with two more satellites to be launched by ESA before the end of the year. Space for innovation and competitiveness is the next area. We provide examples of the telecommunications program of ESA, a program that ESA undertakes in partnership with European satellite operators and industry. AlphaSat, a public-private partnership between ESA and Imarsat, will be launched by Ariane 5 in July. This satellite is the first application of the platform AlphaBus an impressive 22 kilowatts space platform built by European industry for ESA and ECNES. Other telecommunication programs under development are also shown. Technology has a relevant location in the pavilion as a key factor of innovation and progress. The business innovation centers fostered by ESA in different member states are also depicted. The visit ends with the launchers at the CSG Europe Spaceport to remind visitors that no space program is possible without an independent, reliable and affordable access to space. Ariane 5, Vega, Soyuz at CSG and Ariane 6 tell us goodbye.